Peace family, I'm Azita Empress and welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes and comments. I greatly appreciate it. Um, keep them coming. All right. So let's see what your divine masculine is doing. Okay. I don't want to just put it as divine masculine though. I want it to be divine masculine or feminine. It can go either way. Okay. So let's see what they're up to. All right. Let's start off with my lovers. My lovers oracle deck. Okay. <clears throat> This is the card that jumped out. It says, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Wow. So, your divine masculine or feminine, um, Maybe needing to surrender, you know, to the things that they cannot change. Okay, just off, just off this. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, guys. The card that fell on the floor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just off the bat, with her crying too. <clears throat> I don't feel like they're doing too well without you, okay? I feel as though that your person may have come to the conclusion that you are the one. You're the one for them. You, and if you are doing you right now, if you're entertaining others or they feel like I feel like they feel like that you may be you may have moved on or moving on. They don't like the idea of you being with someone else. You know, they don't want to see you with anybody else. Cause they feel like you belong to them still. Okay. They're not ready to see you with someone else. And I feel like this person has tried to fight off this connection, you know, or there's some type of resistance, but it's like, it just keeps repeating itself like a cycle. It just keeps repeating itself. And this person just ends up always coming back to you or um, you always end up on this person's mind, you know, before they go, it could be before they go to sleep at night, you're on their mind. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Let's look at a lot of oracles. These romance oracle decks. Oh, shoot. Just because this was popping out, I'm just going to pull it. It says, unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. <clears throat> I feel as though this person may have felt like this connection was an unrequited love connection. Or you may have felt like, you know, this person isn't for me. Or maybe they felt like that you weren't for them at one point in time. But I don't think that is the case. You know, 100%. And this is for some, you know. But this jumped out. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this could be a very passionate connection. Uh, maybe um, you guys have a have a sexual chemistry. 
um, with one another. You have great sex. Oh, wow. Look, it says true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, like I said, duh, before I pulled the cards, this person has realized that you are their true love. That they love you. And I feel like this person wants to surrender to this connection. <clears throat> but they could be afraid, though. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, your experience, you experience more love in the present moment. So they could be insecure about something that happened in the past between y'all. They could have betrayed you in the past. This is for some. It may or may not resonate. Now, now it's another group of, of, of people who who needs to walk away from a toxic connection. Who needs to realize that this person isn't it. That it's something better out there for you. And it's coming. True love is on the way. Okay, but you have to let go of your past in order to um, invite this connection in. Or this person is realizing this. And you can fight it. But if it's faded, if it's a faded divine connection then you can't do anything because it's fate. It's meant to be. It's destined. It's destiny. Maybe this person has allowed their, their own ignorance to come in between, you know, destiny, a fated union. Let me see. Let's see. Um, See what else is going on. One is on here. Okay, what else is taking place? One's on. <laughs> I'm shuffling sets. Don't judge me. I love romance. Ooh, what the heck? All right, I'm gonna just authority. Authority. Okay, with authority, someone probably wants to needs to let go of control issues. Someone has control issues. Maybe this person in the maybe this person in connection wanted to do what they wanted to do. They didn't want they didn't want to check in with anyone. This person likes being they could like being single, but at the same time they want to do them, but they don't want you to do you. Okay, they want you to wait for them to finish being a HOE. And you're, they thought you would just wait for them for some. You know, wash your mind. I don't know what they got going on. If you just gonna wait for them, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna live your life. You just gonna wait for them. <laughs> Fertility. Hmm. Fertility. New beginning, someone could be pregnant. Someone could be with child. Someone could be planting seeds. Growing. This person could be watching you grow. Watching you grow up. Glow up on their ass. You know? Boredom and... 
um, discontentment. The sacral chakra. Hmm. And deception and envy. Hmm. Envy. All they do is envy. Don't you know it's envy? <laughs> Envy, all they do is envy. Don't you know it's envy? All right. Okay. So someone could be interfering in this connection. It could be a baby, mama, baby, daddy. I feel like this person may be feeling left out in the cold. This person may lust over you sexually. They could be playing back things in their mind. Like, you know, sexual acts in their mind. This person could be stalking you as well, like stalking you on social media, keeping tabs on you, hoping that you're you're single, praying that you don't move on with someone else, like, you know, check on you from time to time. Okay, she's still singing. Good, good, good. Because they can't stand or fathom the thought of you being with anyone else. But I feel like you're going to move forward. You're going to keep moving forward. Hmm. This person could be bored. If they are in a relationship with someone else, they could realize that this person is not the one. They are bored in this connection because they're constantly thinking about you. It's like they're in, they're there, but they're not there. Their mind is someone else, somewhere else. Dang, I'm getting that. This person could be even like, even when they're being intimate with the person that they're currently with, they could be thinking about you. Mmm. This person may not, this person may not like you. It's weird. This person loves you, but they don't like, they don't like you. Because you may not be falling for their shenanigans. But at the same time, they crave you. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. Hmm. Let me see what else. Wow, spiritual union is at the bottom of the deck. Spiritual union. Spiritual union. Okay, let me look. I need, let me. These are new decks for me, y'all. So. Yes, I'll be looking at it real easy. It's new. Okay, spiritual union card deals with relationships involving emotional bond. It could be between new lovers, kindred souls, family members, friends, business associates, or partners. It can even relate to a project or a specific situation. This would be the perfect time to realize that all relationships are really about you. 
Notice when you interact with different people in your life, are they giving you energy or taking it away? Is there an exchange? There should be an equal balance between giving and receiving. Relationships are minor images of your own life. They reflect how you feel and treat yourself and how you react and respond to various situations and individuals around you. Each and every union is an opportunity for soul growth. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, y'all communicating telepathically. Y'all sending messages to each other. This person could be sending messages to you and hoping you receive them. They need to just stop with the games and just contact you. I feel like with all this thinking and thinking and thinking that they doing, they ain't even contacting you. That's crazy. Telepathically, they have, but not physically in the physical realm. Oh my goodness. Okay, three cards jumped out. Face first. Okay. Let me get let me hit the cards, y'all. Because I don't want y'all to see me. <laughs> Looking at me so real quick. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Well, you card. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we got Goddess of the Moon. We got Angel of Love. And we got a man holding a coin. So, Now, the goddess of the moon represents intuition, you know, being true to yourself. You're listening to your inner voice. Angel of love. Love is, new love is on the horizon. Um... Okay, so this person could be also working, you know, keeping themselves busy so they don't think about you. They could be doing really good financially, but, you know, in love, not, not so much, but... I feel like all, all, you know, eventually it's going to be a positive outcome. Because you got the angel of love. I'm hearing, I'm a soldier of love. Oh, yeah, my life. This person is not, somebody isn't giving up on love. Doesn't want to give up on their true love. And don't give up on your true love. Because, you know, true love is can be amazing. It's nothing like having that one, having to find the one you're meant to be with. You know, I feel like this person has been taking a beating and they've seen how life is without you. And I feel like this person just doesn't want to be without you anymore. This person can also have people around them planting seeds in their mind. I feel like this person could be doing very, like I said, doing very well financially. But it's just, it's just a love life. They can't figure it out. It's one of those people that seems like they have it all together. Except they're single or their love life is, is chaotic as fuck. Mm -hmm. But anywho, um, let me pull another card. 
I'm gonna put one more card for um whispers of love deck. Let's see. All right, get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. Mm. So some of you guys could, well, I'm saying some of you guys. Um, I feel like this person when this person returns. They're going to take their time to get, they're going to do what they should have done before. They're going to take the time and get to know you. You know, learning each other's love language, starting over from scratch. And then there could be another group that's that's moving on. That let go of, of the toxic past, of the 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 chaotic the chaotic and toxic ex or toxic behaviors. And now they're starting over anew. Because I feel like there will be a new beginning in in this person's love life, whether it be um a reconciliation type of situation or a new new love but all in all it's going to be true love this person y'all you bring this person peace this person feels good around you you have a great connection and great energy and great chemistry Okay. But in order to receive divine love, this person has to open their heart. They have to be they have to forgive and learn from their past mistakes. All right, so that's your reading, guys. Until next time, peace, love, and abundance.